Keller here, Enthusiast Auto Group. We are in Greenville, South Carolina at, well, the BMW Car Club of America's national headquarters, and this is the MX1 event. Uh, there are, I don't know, 150, 200 cars or so at least that have shown up here this morning. Thankfully, it's not raining too much. And uh, basically, we're going to do a little lap around and show you quite a few M and X cars. Okay, that's the, uh, the, the theme of this event. And then from here, we're going to head over uh, to the foundation and go through Genesis. And uh, then the EAG pit crew and I, were going to go to the Performance Center and uh, do some, uh, well, performance driving for a couple hours. So it's going to be a real good day down here in South Carolina. We're going to bring you along for the ride here, at least for the MX1 uh, Cars and Coffee event. And I uh, hope you enjoy this lap around these cool cars. And uh, do uh, make sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying these videos and, and subscribe for more stuff. We're going to be doing a lot of, of, of events coming up here this spring uh, some track driving and, and getting out there so hope to meet up with a lot of our fellow enthusiasts at these events here coming up soon we are on a BMW M5 V8 twin turbo it comes all-wheel drive but we're going to um, turn, turn the traction control, control off and, and uh, get it into a two-wheel drive, drive setup to have some fun with the car Everybody ready? Yep. Okay. okay. Off we go. Naturally, if we're going to talk about M cars, we might as well start with the very first of the M3s. And uh, here on E30 M3 Lane, got a pretty good little assortment of cars. And of course, this is going to be probably the most eye-catching and uh, colorful, uh, the Michelin car. This is a uh, uh, recreation. This is not the original one, but uh, boy, uh, they did a really great job with this. And I'm sure this thing just absolutely screams bloody murder. Uh, you know, eight, uh, maybe 9,000 RPMs if this one's set up all the way. Uh, it is a fantastic sounding engine straight out the, the box for anybody that's owned an S14 E30 M3 before, but this uh, I'm sure is uh, absolutely a blast to run out and drive. Uh, pretty cool uh, graphics package for sure. Uh, we've got a nice uh, stock uh, car club members car and then some joker from Ohio. Of course he drove uh, uh, this uh, little uh, little thing. Uh, it was uh, quite a fun little drive and as you can tell we are loaded heavy in the back with all of our uh, gear thinking it was going to rain but uh, a lot of fun to get these cars out and drive them and use them the way that they should be and uh, that's well uh, why uh, everybody else uh, is here today. Uh, we've got a couple really cool cars I've identified that I want to share with you. Uh, another EAG uh, service customer car from Ohio actually uh, here on E36 Lane and uh, if there's not enough E36s on the market of really high quality, well, uh, I think that big old spot right there uh, is another good indication that there's just not as many of them out there uh, on the road today as there once was. Uh, and, and certainly uh, we're looking for more E36s if anybody's uh, got one. Uh, we definitely need more of them and uh, beautiful little CS. But one of the really cool cars and historical cars I wanted to share with you is this 1M. Uh, this is the pre-production car that, uh, well, uh, was originally painted not Valencia orange. Uh, we've got all the BMW North America top brass and uh, good old Mike Renner uh, there having a little powwow. Uh, but the, uh, the car was originally painted Alpine white, and uh, once the Valencia orange was picked, uh, well, they went ahead and flex painted this uh, and got the, uh, the nod to make this the exclusive color uh, to the 1M platform, and that's what was uh, basically put in all the literature. and. Uh, 
uh, as uh, told, uh, at least as Tom told me the story last night, uh, that uh, this uh, one M1 was pretty hastily uh, painted to get uh, to the next uh, stage. And well, I guess the rest is history. Uh, you know, connecting to that Valencia orange, though, uh, we found another really historical car that BMW North America brought, and uh, I think that'll probably uh, segue pretty well into to this. Is uh, it's an orange car? It's the one on the left over there, and uh, that is the pre-production Lime Rock. So. Uh, I guess technically there are uh, uh, 201 of these lime rocks, not 200 if we want to be super accurate to that uh, fun fact. And uh, EAG brought our uh, GTS uh, clone there that is actually based on the lime rock. Uh, that's uh, a bit of our uh, track car here for uh, this season and certainly looking forward to having some fun with that and making some videos with it. It's a screamer. The E92 M3, especially the dual clutch transmission, it, uh, the engine, uh, everything. So this was uh, uh, the, the car that was uh, brought to, uh, by Matt Russell, the M brand director at the time, uh, to the board and said, hey, we're going to do this Lime Rock and uh, let's do it Valencia Orange. And so you can see here in the engine bay, uh, it uh, surely uh, was done in Valencia Orange. And uh, well, uh, all the way down to the bottom of the hood and well, the individual sticker will uh, tell us that too. Uh, and uh, well, he said, well, the 1M is uh, an exclusive of Valencia Orange only. Uh, legal is not gonna let that fly. We're gonna have to pick another color. And as one of the other uh, gentlemen at BMW NA was telling the story here today, uh, it was, well, another <laughs> NA member that uh, said, hey, the GTS was fire orange. Let's stay in line with that and, and go with that color. And again, hastily, they uh, uh, jumped in and, and uh, flex painted this one, uh, even the door jams and trunk jam. And uh, even the, the license plate bracket uh, that was uh, uh, delivered new was Valencia orange. Um, pretty uh, interesting uh, uh, fun fact. And then, of course, the, the Lime Rock sticker. But uh, like that's on the wrong side and well uh, they put it there because there was a signature by uh, Bill Oberlin on the other side and uh, Bill unfortunately signed it in a dry erase marker or, or something very light because just in the normal course of time uh, it uh, uh, has um, uh, well vacated. Um, the car is locked otherwise I'd pull, open it up and show you uh, the inside uh, but it is a six-speed manual and uh, uh, it is a um, very low mileage example just uh, 4,000 or so uh, miles on the car. Um, but it does have all the Lime Rock accoutrement, and uh, you could tell that Bill certainly had a good time uh, on these tires. Uh, it's a 2012 date code I checked earlier, uh, so they uh, definitely uh, have kept the car in original form. Uh, this was, I think, the, the Lime Rock uh, press uh, video uh, that they'd uh, uh, used this car for. So uh, pretty cool to see a bit of uh, BMW NA's uh, uh, you know, history here at the event today. Uh, the other um, uh, six-speed uh, Lime Rock press cars, have the, there are two more, uh, one of which is actually an inventory at the moment with about 41,000 miles. And, They'd use those press cars to go do stuff like this, uh, and it was kind of used as a bridge gap uh, when uh, there wasn't an M3 in 2014, as they're getting ready for 15 on the F80 platform. Uh, making our lap through here, we're getting towards the, the tail end of the event, and I think everybody's going to be heading over to the, the foundation. Uh, did see another really cool car that uh, I'm sure a lot of people uh, will uh, pine after, and that's, uh, well, a lot of cars here people would be pretty uh, uh, happy to have. But um, uh, one of the other uh, cars we drove down is the uh, E39 M5, because if you're gonna be on the highway for a bunch of time, not a lot of better cars to be in than the E39 M5. And well, uh, who does not love an Alpine white on Carmel E39? Uh, this is the uh, uh, the example that we sold uh, uh, Ken Sparks, the BMW uh, NA spokesperson for uh, well, the last decade or so, and uh, it's, with experience comes uh, expertise. Yeah, that's, we're, now, that's we're, the, we're still pretty amateur. The only so. way, no, I don't think so at all. I think you do a really good job. Well, with it. I enjoy the videos actually. Good, because you've been behind the camera for tens of thousands of yeah, hours. Yeah, well, and I've watched them from the very er earliest days when it was just. Eric Keller here, and um, <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> what we do today? <laughs> he's a resident, uh, taken up uh, uh, now that he's uh, enjoying the, the finer fruits of uh, his uh, 
years in now retirement, uh, a year and a half or so post. And uh, Leo is the name of this E39 M5. And I have to tell you, I've never seen, well, I have. Uh, I just uh, haven't seen uh, as, as often the, the love affair that uh, this man has with this car. Uh, it is a uh, part of his family immediately. And uh, well, anybody that's uh, met uh, can, uh, they know his, his relationship with that M5, I'm sure. So it's been uh, not quite two years, year and a half since uh, you took official delivery here in yeah. South Carolina of your EAG M5. Uh, you know, tell us your uh, storyline since then. Well, you know, I, 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 the most recent thing that I really have to say is this guy made it possible for me to get through COVID without losing my sanity. I mean, that <laughs> lost year, you know, because the only thing we could do I could get out in the car and I could drive. And being here near the mountains, one of the world's greatest natural test tracks, you know, all I needed was about 30 or 40 minutes in Leo, up the mountain, down and around and so on. And I'd come back refreshed, you know, had a bright new outlook on the world. And I mean, but that's, it's that way every time I drive him now. Uh, a lot of uh, pretty interesting colors going on over here. Uh, we've got uh, Java Green on the M8. Uh, um, let's see, what else is uh, doing? Uh, and of course, we've got all the X5s, uh, and there's no shortage of, of the X5Ms uh, as well. Uh, the, uh, the, center, the performance center is doing, a, a, did an X driving day, I believe, yesterday, and the, the M driving event that uh, we're doing tonight should be uh, quite a whole lot of fun. We're supposed to have a ton of rain in the forecast, so that's going to make it, uh, uh, well, that much more exciting. Rain or shine, uh, we'll be uh, uh, driving those uh, gut and sideways. So uh, I think that's a pretty good clean lap here around the uh, MX1 event. I uh, do appreciate everybody tuning in, and uh, if uh, you're out at the next event uh, and see on our social media that we're uh, going to be attending or talk about it up front earlier, do reach out. We'd love to connect and meet and, and have a conversation just as uh, some of the pit crew is there uh, uh, with uh, uh, good old Ken Sparks. So uh, I guess with that, we'll say, see ya. <laughs>